In this tutorial, I want to demonstrate how to install the spell checker for Notepad++. This is a new installation of Notepad++. When you click on Plugins, come down and you'll see that the spell checker is already installed, or at least the link to the spell checker is already installed. But the only option that you are given is this one, which says How to Use. When I click on this option, I'm given the dialog box here, how to use spell checker. And really, this is instructions for how to install the spell checker. So I'm going to click on this link to go to the page where I can download the program. This opens the GNU Aspel page. And here under the binaries, you'll see the latest version of the Aspel program. I'm going to click Full Installer. On my machine, I'm just going to let it run. So I'm going to click Run. You could save. We're going to accept the default settings for this installation all the way through. As we go through, we want to make sure we notice this right here where it says that the C program files, and then there's a space, and it says parentheses x86. That's because I'm working here on a Windows 8 machine that is a 64-bit machine. And if I were on a 32-bit machine, it would not show the x86. It would just be program files. But if you're on a 64-bit machine, it'll show parentheses x86, close parentheses, and then the backslash aspel. And that's where the program and the dictionary will all be installed. There's the folder for aspel. You can let uh, these default if you want to. I like to use the the uh, send to link option here. And then I'll let it install. I'm not going to receive the manual right now. After the program is installed, you'll need to come down on this page, down from where you install the installer, and come down and get the dictionary. I'm obviously using English, so I'm going to click here to get the English Dictionary. And I'm going to let it also run and accept the default settings. Okay, the program and the dictionary are installed. There's still one thing that I need to do. I need to go in and change the path in my environment variables. To get to your environment variables you will right click on computer and then select properties and that will take you to this screen and then here you'll see advanced system settings click on that that will open the system properties dialog box to the advanced tab and you'll come to environment variables here you want to come to the second window and you'll want to scroll down until you find the path variable. And we're going to edit. And at this point, we're going to be very careful. Notice that all of, all of the values in the uh, variable value field are highlighted, highlighted with blue, which means, of course, in a Windows machine, that if I were to type anything that all of that would disappear and I certainly don't want that to happen if you wanted to be safe at this point you could hit control C and that would copy all of that path information so if you did delete it you could put it back in place but what you want to do is to just come down here and click somewhere close to the end and use your arrow key to get all the way out to the end of that line and you're going to want to type in a uh, semicolon and then C colon and we're going to type in the path to where we install that program. So it was program files space parentheses x86 close parentheses backslash ASPELL -L, backslash bin. Then I'll click OK to accept that new string of variables. By the way, be sure and remember to hit the semicolon before you type the C colon. And click OK. And then click OK. 
And what we have just done is to, we added the path to where this program is installed. And I'll show you that here. In my Windows Explorer, I'm going to come to my C drive, select it, come up to my program files x86 and open that. And there is the Aspel folder, open that. And there is the bin folder right there. So if I open that, then up here you can see that the entire link is to C colon backslash program files space then x86 all the way out to the bin. So I could just copy this and paste it in the environment variables, but this shows you that that is exactly where this program is found along with the dictionary. After the path is set in the environment variables, then I should be able to come into Notepad++ now and run the spell checker. I'm going to type in a word. I'll just type football and misspell it, which for me is easy to do. I'll come to this option here to run the spell checker. And now we see that it's working and I can use the options shown in this dialog box to correct the spelling, to ignore it or add it to the dictionary or whatever. But those are the steps you need to go through in order to install the spell checker in Notepad++.